play. And they have a decision to make. 3-0-2, 14 13 they are on about the nine-yard line. And last year's game, if our viewers remember, came to an overtime game, was up in the Municipal Stadium, actually Ray Snyder Field up in the Municipal Stadium in Waterbury. In regulation, both teams had seven points. And it was a, a field goal by the older brother of Kyle Wells. It was Darrell Wells kicking the field goal and the Auto took winning a 10-7 game. If I remember, it was raining it was from raining. start to finish in it that was, one. It was pouring. Matter of fact, we just started the game and started the game. And it was very overcast and very threatening. And, and then the skies opened up. And it was a great football game. And uh, this this series has just produced great games right down the line. It looks like uh, Naugatuck is going to be setting up for a field goal. So it'll be Ricky De La Rosa, who is the Naugatuck place kicker, setting up for a field goal. Just saw a moment ago the time, 3.02 remaining. Naugatuck leads 14-13. to The field goal would extend the, the Greyhounds' lead to four points and mean that uh, my mathematics are correct, that Holy Cross would have to score a touchdown get up on top Schultz is the holder De La Rosa to attempt the field goal from the 15 it would be a 25 yarder the kick is up it is good and Ricky De La Rosa has kicked a 25 yard field goal and has put Naugatuck up by four. Our new score, Naugatuck 17 and Holy Cross 13, 258 remaining. Excellent hold by Billy Schultz. Straight down the middle on the field goal and it's got more than 25 yards. You watch that thing still going as it goes through the upright. So Naugatuck now with that four point lead is gonna or will force Holy Cross to score a touchdown if they want to win this game. Plenty of time, 